Before we get started with this episode, I want to see the other VR parts real fast. I, well, it says, uh, well, hold up. There are, should be V, oh, actually VR parts with everyone, surprisingly. So we have one for now, or we probably might have multiple, I don't know. But we have one for now, so we'll check out this one really quick. There you go. Oh my, wait, we're on the, oh. Um, you're the one they call player, right? Isti probably filled you in. Well, I guess you might already know, but my name's Neptune. It's nice to meet ya. In person, haha. <laughs> uh, You've met my bigger self, right? I guess that means from your perspective that I'm the smaller Neptune, doesn't it? Much smaller. That's not what I meant. I saw your own paper, buddy. So, um, my name gets pretty tricky for people in our dimension to say, so you can call me whatever you want. No, it's not. Oh my god, I swear to god. Neptune. Anyway. Not hard to say at all. Literally. That's a really cool game console! The games are... Mm. Ooh! Wowie! Oh, You've got all kinds of genres, too! It's wonderful. You've got some really great stuff here. Your manga collection is so interesting, too. What a cool room. Oh, yeah, thanks. I actually don't have I've a manga collection at all. lots of different worlds, but I don't recognize any of the manga or games you have in here. I know, you've never seen a Dragon Ball Z I manga know. before, haven't you? I'll just tell Isti I'm going to study the outside world to expand my horizons. Is it okay if I visit you again? Yeah, sure thing. Alright! I'd love it if you had some snacks and drinks ready for me the next time I visit. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh my gosh. Whoops! You know, there's more to this than me just having fun with you. I actually wanted to thank you for saving me too. Oh. Aw, oh, just when I was getting used to ya, we ran out of time. We'll continue this chit chat later. Thanks for letting me visit. I'll be back soon, so <laughs> see ya. What? Okay. That was bloody wonderful. That's cool. That was great. Room objects. Oh, great. Now we have room objects, too. So... Oh, wait. There's also a new one? Favorite kinds of games. Oh, great. Funny. 20 times. <laughs> I came back! It's nice to see you again. You know, some people would really like this room for how cozy it is, but my favorite thing about it is definitely all the games you have. Oh my god. It's where she's super close. And it's so weird. Yep, so yep. weird. You have a ton of different types of games down here. FPSs and TPSs, some RPGs, and even driving simulators. Is this one a flight simulator? A sandbox game too? Oh, you've even got this one! Would Gary's Ma's cow as a sandbox? Hey, hey, because... so I know you have a lot of games, but which types are your favorites? None of them? I like all types of games, really, but my favorite kinds are the super niche ones. Cool. They may not be very popular, but they're always very particular about a very specific thing, so I'm always impressed. You feel the same way, don't you, player? Yes, I do. Totally. Ha ha ha. Right? I knew you, of all people, would understand. Oh, and I'll ask since we're here. Oh my gosh, there's so weird. I can't fill a bed. That is super cute, though. The way she just grabs the pillow and just on the you couch. You might know this already, but we all used to compete with each other for shares. One day, an enemy appeared, and ever since we combined our powers, our ways of thinking have totally changed for the better. Now, we all work really hard together to save game industry from danger. I really like our relationships now. I want to be even...
even closer to them, even if it makes me a failure as a CPU. What do you think, player? I mean, yeah, wow, that is super sensitive. They can just see me <laughs> really? through this small little jug. Well, everyone does say each CPU has to protect her own nation, so it can be a bit complicated at times. Relationships do matter the most, right? Whoops! If I stay too long, Isti's gonna scold me. I better get going. Cool beans. Also, let's just keep all this between you and me. Charlene! Thanks for listening to me today. I'll be back to see you again. She jumped, guys. The video's over. Ha -ha. Okay. That was nice. I think. So, uh, yeah. Now we finally did that part. Hopefully, all oh, that was actually captured. This is one thing I really hate. It's either it focuses on the TV or it focuses on me. And if it focuses on me, then it's too bright on the TV and it sucks. All you can hear is me and the VR and it sucks. Okay, but hopefully that was actually better. I mean, unfortunately it has to be at, you know, 30 frames a second instead of 60 frames. But, hey, I, at least I can do, you know, actually this time. See that it's actually recording the bloody thing. With that out of the way, let's actually get back to the main gameplay. Alright, so this is where we- Wow, that was actually a quick load! Okay, so we were here last time, we defeated the giant, and I think- Yeah, but now we're just going back uh, here. can't we just hang out here? Yeah, well, that's where we're going. We're going to hang out there. What, what were you thinking, Neptune? Okay. So let's go here, and... Pudding, pudding. Let's get some conversations and... Let's toast to our victory, man, I'm kinda hungry. Oh yeah, some of the other conversations we didn't get to fill in, but you know, who cares, right? Uzume possesses a certain special ability. Special ability? Oh my, she's able to turn her daydreams into reality. Isn't that kinda cheating though? So that would mean she has the ability to intervene in real world events, yes. But is it possible to do such a thing? She cannot interfere or change large-scale events, but she does possess this power. You two have some experience with convenient things occurring exactly the way she had imagined, do you not? Oh, could you mean the pudding ingredients? Correct, she imagined and wished for you two to create and eat pudding. This is why you were able to find ingredients. She also imagined and wished today during her battle she wished you three would be able to obtain shares from monsters and subse subsequently transform. I said that completely wrong. That's why we were able to gain shares all of a sudden. Okay, so I think that's all you need to know, guys. They uh, gain shares because it's not because big reveal you can gain shares from, you know, uh, monsters, apparently. It's because Uzume's subconscious said so. <laughs> wow! There are certain things that come into play, such as the fact that Uzume cannot bring something into existence unless she is, sin unless she sincerely imagines it. So there is a bit of a limit to it, but that's still kind of overpowered. That is to say that how she manipulates reality is also based on her subcon subconscious. This is why I am extremely grateful to you both. You helped Uzume change the state of shares within this world. I can only hope that if we are not too late, we will be able to stop this world, co the world's collapse. <sighs> Uzume might be the most overpowered CPU then. I get it, uh, Unyo. That's why you said something to lead her on. That's why you said something to lead her on that time. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad at reading. I'm surprised you noticed. Well, I guess you could say it was by chance. You were actually engaging in Uzume's story for once, so it kind of got me curious. Now that you understand her ability, I sincerely ask that you please keep it a secret from her. Wow! Come on, my dude! So much like... I'm just actually going to skip this part. Because just... Wow! Uzume, you need to chill out with your language. You're making this... Really making my job harder. From reading the majority of this, or how much I'm reading, um, 
Neptune asked, you know, Uzume, hey, you know, when we're done with, you know, everything here, can you come with us to our nation? She says, no, I'm not sure what the reason is, but it seems anonymous, and it seems like kind of like a vow thing, it seems like. And she's also CPU to this world as well, so yeah, now that I think about it, it's more of like, it seems like an internal vow than it is that, you know, she could just do what she want. Also, dang, this theme is hitting a little too hard. Wait, 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 I just realized something. If it's really true that all the citizens are gone, you know, like, imagine, every single one of the citizens are gone. How do you plan on getting back the citizens? Because if you're thinking of reproducing, I don't know anyone that you know that can, you know, help you with that. Because there doesn't seem to be a male being just around here. And Umio doesn't count, because it's a fish. And I don't want to see any citizens looking like half CPU, half weird-looking monsters. I wonder if Uzume actually turns out to be the creator of, like, the four goddesses online. Aw, oh, that's just depressing. Don't say things like that. Another decade. Jeez Louise. Well, that was a cute conversation after the whole, like, you know. Oh, great. <laughs> Do you know what time it is? It's Neptation time. <laughs> Your hosts today are Neptune and Nepgear. Nepgear! Reporting live! So, Nepgear never thought we'd be able to transform, huh? <laughs> Imagine Neptune for one day, he just sounds like that. Indeed, it was. <laughs> what was even more amazing was it was due to Uzume's ability to, for whatever reason, imagine things, and boom, it happens! Crazy, right? And what person showed up again? Yeah, I literally swear, all these NEP stations are literally just like summaries of what happened. Plant Laetis, just a foil at this point, so let's forget her and move on to the episode preview. Uh oh, episode preview! A new enemy targeting us stands in Uzume's path as she searches for a way to send us home. Countless monsters attack. Neptune finally activates that forbidden system. Next episode, give you strength. Today's Preview still kind of wasn't a preview, but don't worry about it. We're working out the kinks. We'll see you next time. Whoa there, mate. So is this like Goku now? Are they going to do that? Give us your energy? Stuff like that? Oh my gosh. Oh shoot, need another VR session. Hold up. Okay, I am prepared. I think it's going to like disconnect right away, right? Wait. Oh, wait. Am I actually re Oh my gosh, wait. Hold up, I gotta test this out actually. Hold up, hold up. Oh, bro, it works! How? I finally am recording it. Holy bejeebers. Hello there, I'm back yet again. Oh yeah, the echoing, hold up. I've seriously walked everywhere trying to find bugs. Man, I'm tired. Is it okay if I sit with you? <gasps> sit with me? Well, oh! Oh my gosh, look! Uh, Why is she so you. small? Oh my desk. New wow, dimensions are full of bugs I've never seen before, so I never get bored. I found a big butterfly larva earlier. It had a red Y-shaped antenna. So cool. I said, oh ooh, new species, and tried to catch it, but it spit out its silk and turned into a really hard pupa. Oof. And then, <coughs> that pupa oh had gosh. really sleepy looking eyes. It was so cute that I started feeling guilty about taking it home. So I let it go. It'll be a beautiful butterfly someday, I'm sure. 
Enough about your bug stories. Hurry and do something about these wing scribbles. Oh, right, I forgot. When I was looking at the pupa earlier, a round balloony monster walked right up to me. It pulled out a mic and started singing. It sounded like Krosty. And then... What? <laughs> Next thing I know, I woke up. Somehow I fell asleep and I saw Krosty and the pupa had been doodled on. It was the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I even had doodles all over my face and we all just looked so silly. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? I keep cracking up just thinking about it. <laughs> it ain't funny. <laughs> oh Whoops, gosh. sorry. You... But honestly, if you were in that oh, the situation, fixed. wouldn't you laugh too? Okay, isn't that like a balloon Pokemon? Isn't that Jigglypuff or some sort? What if I actually just sit here for a while? But that is definitely Jigglypuff. Right? If you woke up to find everyone's face was scribbled over, of course you'd laugh. Looks like the bugs waiting to be discovered are calling to me. <sighs> I'll be heading back out to my bug search now. Okay. See ya later. Oh my gosh. Bro. I think we actually finally were able to record it. Oh my goodness. I'm actually... I'm really hoping this file doesn't get corrupted whatsoever because of it, but... Oh my gosh, we are, I think we finally might be the first to actually record the VR using an actual VR. Yes! What I literally did was, you know, it lost connection. I went to the edit part because I was wondering if it like ended that recording and like clipped it all the way to, you know, to, you know, the edit session. But um, then I went back to it and it immediately turned it back on. Which means I can finally stop recording it from my phone. I can actually get it in its highest definition. First, let me actually check. I'm going to stop the recording right here. And I'm going to actually check that this isn't corrupted or anything. Otherwise, uh, you know, moment ruined. Okay. So I just checked the, re the footage. And the only problem with it is that it's in low definition for whatever reason. I don't know why that is, but we got it. We finally have actual VR footage instead of me just putting the phone over there and just like, yeah, try and get it now, buddy. So yes, it it's kind of weird too, because like checking the clip, it, they, it notices there's, it's split up, but what's important is that I actually got it. So whew, let's go. Now we actually know how to record the VR parts. It's actually not that hard at all. You just, I just had to go to a different tab of the capture card software and boom, it started working. Thank you. Oh my gosh. If it wasn't for coincidence and weird mindsets like that, I would have never been able to figure that out. Her popular face, what? I'll have to injury. <laughs> Intrugate every one of her. Ah, <laughs> oh, now that's um Neptune. That's actually very pure of you. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Oh my gosh. Okay, buddy. Well, it's not a date. They confirmed that, which I'm not surprised, cause like, why would it be a date? Why would you want to date a fish? I mean, yeah, he's got a really hot voice, but he's a fish. Nebgear over here is actually kind of hot. So, I think what he said is that he found a, uh, oh wait, first we have to actually I'm go through conversation. Tired. But from that summary, um, well, no, that he said he found a facility, Nebgear would probably be very interested in it, and they're all probably going to go to it. Oh, yep, here it is. I thought it was going to be a whole nother level, which that would have been much better. Cause you know, we always, we gotta get those levels where you're like in the city, then you're just in this techno lab. That, we always gotta get those levels. That's what makes it, for me at least, that's what gives me a good taste. Cause again, Batman Rises Senshu, first like, you know, stage before the boss. You have the first two levels outside, then the next two levels inside. That to me is awesome. 
I think there's gonna be an enemy coming. She's focused, Neptune. Let her focus. <laughs> yeah, uh, freaking Neptune. You may be the purest goddess I've ever seen, but give her some space for now. Transportation? Oh, episode preview. Remember, guys, a big brain. I actually forgot about that. Or they said something about, like, take us home. And then, uh, what else do they say? Oh, and then an enemy was gonna, you know, come across them or something. But is it not as fair or whoever that weird witch lady was? Is it gonna be someone else? Is it gonna be someone that we're familiar with? Is it gonna be a dark CPU? Is it gonna be looming over them? Uh-oh, it's the phone. Pick up the bloody phone. Oh, never mind. It's her phone. Ish. Premium cell phone. <laughs> Premium cell phone plan to make calls between dimensions. I mean, she's not wrong, right? Imagine me. Imagine one of my. Imagine I make a phone call to one of my friends and it's like, "Hey, where where are you? You know, I'm in you know this state, and you say you were in this state, but where are you? Oh yeah, I'm in the same state, just in another dimension. Whoa, and I'm still calling you? Yeah, bro, bruh." <laughs> Okay. Ooh. Ooh. While Neptune may be the purest, she's also the, uh, probably the dumbest, it seems like. Are we seriously gonna have a whole conversation about introducing a character that we already knew to someone? Oh, and she had another mind fog memory. She's remembering things because of her amnesia. Because you know Shadow the Hedgehog. She's actually the Shadow the Hedgehog of this year of the series right now. She has amnesia, and now she's like starting to remember. Like remember in the beginning, Shadow the Hedgehog's like Shadow the Hedgehog. Why does that name haunt me? It's the only thing I can remember. And that gruesome image that Maria gets shot down, and he's all like. Why do I remember it? Why do I remember all this stuff? Then you play through the game and he starts remembering crud and it's like, oh my gosh <gasps> Umio, I know you got a pretty hot voice, but let's not go there, okay? Yeah, I don't know how you guys didn't take that as a metaphor cuz like I already like you can't tell me that, like, imagine if someone told me, hey, Jared, guess what, did you know that, you know, the fish that you love so much is, like, a father to you? Obviously, that's a metaphor, because he said, like, father to me. Or, actually, no, wouldn't that be a simile? That's a simile. It's like a simile. But still. Okay. Okay, so, Histy, or History, I don't know how you pronounce her name, but seems like she found a way to get back to, you know... The dimension. But it will require share energy. But, and then again, I don't think it matters, right? Okay, wait, 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 wait. So they're already discussing the idea that they're leaving already, but knowing this game, you cannot tell me we fight one of three giants. Or one of four. One of four, and we're already done. Oh, yep, had a feeling. Can I access it yet? Oh, yeah, it's broken. <laughs> also, if you guys are wondering why I'm always staring over at the side instead of in front of me, you know, the TV right here, it's because my computer is actually right here and it's showing the same thing as it is over here. And oh my gosh, that's I'm muting my computer for that. I got a text message about waking up early in the morning so that we can be normal human beings, but I don't like being normal human beings sometimes, you know? I just want to be that guy who sleeps at 3 in the morning and then wakes up at 10, you know? Is that a problem with everyone? Well, sometimes it is, you know? You know, if Nebgear can fix this stuff, you know she's a genius, right? Like she's hypothetically the smartest CPU that I know of, right? So, congrats for her for being smart, and I like that. 
Now that I think about it, Netgear actually might be my favorite CPU of the CPUs. Maybe. Keep that in, keep that under the boat for now. I mean, it'd be, I may not stay up to, with all the games out there, but I wait up. To, wait, I'm. Oh my gosh, my reading is bad. I might not stay up to date with all of the games out there, but I for sure know my way around retro consoles. Taking this apart will be a breeze. I wrote a comment about this, but someone said that this series is like a satire because you know a bunch of these CPUs are like references to consoles of some sort. So you know how Neptune's supposed to represent a Sega console of some sort, which I'm I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually not okay with that. But you know, since the better ones were act since the better Sonic games, better you know games from Sega in general were the older ones like Sonic the Hedgehog one, two, and three. Seems like Neptune has a really big thing for retro games. So for that, every, every Sonic fan will definitely say Sonic 2, Sonic 1, or Sonic 3, and Knuckles in some way, shape, or form is the best Sonic game. Not, you know, Sonic Generations, not Sonic and Forces, not Sonic and it's not Sonic Rise of Lyric, not Sonic Heroes, not Sonic Adventure 2, not, not any of the modern Sonic games, even the, the really good one. Oh. Neptune got rejected to help out. That is sad. Oh! Okay, that's interesting. Nepgear has left the party because she's, you know, doing this stuff. So does this mean, like, over time in the story? Um, what was I going to say? that over time we'll lose our party members because they're doing something? Or is it just this one situation where Nepgear is doing something and that way we can't access her as a party member? <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna lie, I think Nepsy or Nepgear might actually be my favorite CPU. I'm sorry, but... I'm sorry, Bland, Bland, I don't know your name, but it might be that gear because she's actually really adorable. Oh my gosh, they're just sleeping. She taking things. She be taking them. The, 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 I don't know. All right, so Neptune and Uzume definitely do have a, you know, good eight hour sleep. Actually, that's really concerning me. Let's see. What was that like? One hour, three... What was that like? You know, that current state. One hour, three hours, five hours. That means she was probably doing this for nine hours straight. Oh my goodness. She is a hard worker. <laughs> oh... Fix as much, not all of it, but whoa, really am digging this girl. And that is very weird for me to say, but you know, we all have our favorite CPUs here and there, right? Even though I'm new to, I'm kind of new to this, but I'm starting to really dig into Netgear. They have no power. That's what they're missing to get this thing to work. I can't remember what the first one was, but it was, you know, or was a spare part they're missing or something? Yeah, first one was spare part and second is just power. Oh, no, she's back at the party. Whatever that information was, was kind of useless. Also, I'm not okay with the fact that we still have another conversation to go. Take a break for lunch? Oh my gosh, you know, I'm really actually upset because I'm also hungry myself. I haven't had any dinner because it's a Sunday. We have a weird tendency to not have dinner on Sundays for whatever reason, and it's usually because we're at youth group and all that types of stuff. So actually, ironically enough, today we actually did a little like church session thing um, early this, uh, like pretty much after I woke up. You know, which was like after 10. 
But, um, we, after that, then we had a lunch. It was a pretty good lunch, actually. I really liked the lunch that I had, at least. It was some, you know, good rice and beef. Rice and beef is my go-to. Spaghetti is my favorite. That's all you need to know about me. <laughs> it better be the good kind of spaghetti. No cheese, you know, just, you know, regular marinara. Extra marinara, probably, since I have a huge liking for marinara. Broccoli, along with rice and beef, is also really good as well. Or just any vegetable in general that I kind of like. Um, but usually we would have a youth group um, around this time. So, but we kind of did since there's the whole, you know, uh, COVID-19 thing going on. We're kind of, you know, forced to isolate ourselves in our homes. So here we are, and I didn't really have a l dinner. So I kind of had a small snack, but that doesn't really count. So I'm kind of really in the mood to go like upstairs right now to get some rice. You know, some soy sauce, of course, because that stuff is required, for me at least. So, um, I'm actually kind of hungry now. In fact, I'll probably stop the recording really soon, just so I can get a lunch. Actually, I'll probably do that maybe after this recording, since, um... Uh... I have no idea what I was going to say. Since, uh, I'm kind of in the middle of this already, and I might want to sleep later... Or continue this or maybe I'll real quick go up just grab a snack and then um, you know just eat that snack also I was paying attention to what was going on they were talking about some kind of dessert or something she went all like oh my gosh dessert I can't wait to have it hold up there interesting thing Going on. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. It's probably a date that she wants, okay? Their CPUs, all of them are female, so let's not be surprised they grow some kind of like very strong relationship one way or the other. And I think even that even shows up in the anime. Or ha parts of it happen in the anime. Or even a little bit can be seen with Noir. Seems like Nepgear is really into Uzume. Don't have a problem with that, but I really do like Nip Gear, so I do have a small bit of a nitpick at it. But it's fine. I don't know why I'm being very talkative about this, since that has that doesn't matter at all. But you know me. If I don't talk about something, you guys will just be like, We're watching this game for what? To not hear Jared talking? Hello? Like we come all the way over here just to watch him play a game with waifus who get Apparently, who got naked in one of the parts? Like, come on. We don't care about them getting naked. We care about watching Jared rant about something. Which I'm actually glad that someone, that some people actually do appreciate that, because ranting is actually my favorite thing to do. Which now that I think about it, I find it funny they don't talk with Maria as much, because that's the thing that she was actually known for when we were on a youth group trip to Mexico as well. So. <laughs> also, I'm not realizing the more that I rant, the more that it gives you guys the possibility to actually read all of this while I'm just ranting, because I don't really care what's on the screen right now. I'm sort of paying attention. I'm picking parts and pieces of it, putting it together, and be all like, okay, this is what they're talking about. So, um, hopefully you guys can get a little bit of a read of this. If for whatever reason you want to actually read this, because I don't really care about this, because I don't think it actually has anything to do with the story, but it more has to do something with their relationship with each other. And I'm you, you'll start to notice since the right side of the PS4 controller is actually really warm and the left side is actually still kind of cold. Because I'm holding this way more often. I'm just kind of doing this. Kind of just leaning over here, kind of just like, okay. 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 Okay, I'm not actually reading this. And I'm just now realizing Uzume said something about like she was in prison or something and she just escaped. And now the blue sky apparently is nostalgic to her. And I'm not realizing what if the little like parts of it, you know, that don't want to, you know, that don't want us to be, you know, that doesn't want to be seen. What if, um, that is her. What if all that stuff is Uzume? Because, I mean, I mean, it, unless it's pointing towards to, like, 
like I was thinking in the previous episodes, maybe it was possible it's pointing towards to, um, you know, what was gonna say? The giants that apparently are, can Thanos people out of existence? So, um, it's possible? Hey, wait. How do you spell Uzume? We can't stop Blank's power. At this rate, the world will fall into ruins, and I decided to search for a way to stop a rampage. I feel like I'm seeing a nightmare. Okay, so that was five boxes. How do you spell- I don't- I wasn't paying attention to how you spell Uzume. Wait, wait. The five boxes returned to normal. She remembered what she had done. Blank asked me to kill her. Oh. <gasps> You spell Uzume with five letters. That's more than likely Uzume. That is way more than likely Uzume. Unless that's for whatever reason a CPU character not related to Uzume, but that more than likely is Uzume. Uh oh. Uh oh. It is gonna end soon. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's gonna end soon. Uh oh. I mean, it will end soon, but not now. Chill out, ma'am. You still have like. More years to go until your body starts developing some things that probably shouldn't. I know this for a fact because... <laughs> I mean, if you're with me on Discord, you would know some pretty weird conversations with me and Ted Rayman. We are the weirdest... If you put us together, we will become the weirdest people in existence. And I mean literally, the weirdest. Don't believe me? I pretend to almost kiss him. Sounds weird, right? Yes, it is weird. That's why we are one of the two strangest people to be together. In any way, shape, or form. And there will be- And actually, no, by the- I'm actually recording this before uh, the 10 Rayman Splatoon 2 video was out. Yeah, we're, we're this early into this. I'm recording this March 22nd, Sunday. So, it is that far. You guys are probably seeing this like April or something, I don't know. Uh, yeah, is <laughs> okay, I'll admit, this is kind of cute. I really hate saying that because this is a game with waifus that look like as if they're like 13 years old. And especially Neptune, she looks like she's like 11. And apparently she's a CPU. She's a goddess. Which, according to simple Google searching, she's supposedly centuries old. And I don't know how I feel about that, but then again, she's a goddess. She's actually kind of small. I think I even looked up her height. She was like four foot something. I mean, then again, any Japanese cultured character, they may look tall, like Shulk from, you know, Xenoblade Chronicles, but he, he's actually my height or weedy bit taller. And he's like an incy bit taller. My mo supposedly, my mother told me that I'm five, 3.5 inch, five, 3.5 inches, five foot, 3.5 inches. I don't know if that's true. So one of my friends says that I'm that, that he's like, no way, you're definitely taller than that. You're like five foot six or something. I mean, I can't tell because when I stand up, I, I don't even know if that's the truth. I feel like I'm small because I mean, I can't really justify a height of some sort. I don't know how high this TV is, but it feels like I'm small because people like to demoralize me of me being small. Because literally, every time I go to a every like literally high school. You know, senior year, right? I am a senior. I'm about to graduate this year, depending on what's going on with COVID-19, because I really hope it doesn't turn into a thing where I graduate next year because of this dumb virus that everyone's overreacting to. But literally, the moment I mentioned that I'm a senior, everyone, and I mean literally everyone, gives me the, what? You're a senior? The only people who knew this were Joey and James. You know, the three J's. I think you might, if you're actually longtime fans of me, you would remember them. They're the only people at my school, maybe even Kevin at my school, maybe even Peyton, I think, who's also at my school. Everyone that was in my English class in my sophomore year, probably they are the only ones that know I am a senior. Everyone knew that I met doesn't know I'm a senior at all. And when they found out that I was a senior, they either A, were like, Whoa, he is a senior, guys. What is going on? Or they're like, No, 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 you're a freshman. You're, you're a sophomore. No, no way. Uh-uh. 
No, no. Keep in mind, everyone that knew this is taller than me, more, I guess, bulkier than me, or seem more vulgar than me. So, I guess that kind of gives them a reason to think why I'm young, but then again, some people are different, you know? But not everyone, you know, this is a type of year where Americans, it's normal to be six foot tall, and my, one of my other, I'm gonna call him acquaintance for now, because I'm not for sure I feel about him yet. But literally every single time he keeps, I keep getting into something related to college, he literally keeps telling me, bro, everyone in college is gonna think you're a high school freshman. And I'll be like, actually no, I'm a college freshman. And, ev and everyone's gonna believe me, everyone's gonna, th there's probably gonna be those one or two people that are gonna be like, no, you shouldn't even be in college, you should be in high school still, let alone you should be in middle school. There's gonna be those one or two people, but I will be in college soon and I'm not okay, I mean, with my height, I'm not, and plus I'm not that smart either, I have actually maybe I shouldn't go to that level yet, I might actually be demoralizing myself in front of a lot of people, even though there may not be that many people who will watch this, but... <laughs> Demoralizing yourself in front of the internet, even if not that many people will see this, it's probably not the best thing to do. <laughs> oh my goodness, I've been ranting for so long that it probably took up the whole conversation. I can't skip the whole conversation, and you're telling me that we still have more conversations to go? Also, I wasn't paying attention to that one this time, but I saw the word romantic, so I'm assuming something's going on with the, you know, Nepgear's feelings towards them. I don't know. I probably, I mean, you guys can read all that yourself and then, you know, figure out what they're actually saying. Um, but I'm gonna actually try and read this one and I'm gonna see what they're actually saying. Yeah, you defeated a giant, but again, you defeated one of four. Uzume would be super happy if they had crane games with cutie, with cute plushies. Now, okay, now that I think about it, and now I'm getting even more confused. Like, maybe it's not really Orange Heart from the inside, but it's like, why do you keep referring to yourself as Uzume from a third-person perspective? Shouldn't just say, I would love to see Crane Machines, you're saying Uzume. It's like me saying, Jared would love to see, you know, Pac-Man in the arcade. It's like, what? Okay, wait, I just misread that. But she said something about a photo booth. And, uh... Did I read it correctly? But is it... Does she want to do it with Nepgear? Or, like... Or does she just want to go there? Nepgear's like, oh, okay, we'll go there! I don't know. But the more that I keep reading... I mean... Again, I'm gonna rant it on again, aren't I? Do you ever get that feeling where you just want fictional women to be real? Like, you ever get that- Well, then again, I'm starting to fall into the trap of like, Oh yeah, I want waifus to be real. I want Monica from Doki Doki Literature Club to be real. But I can't say that because I'm starting to also really love Hatsune Miku. Now I want Hatsune Miku to be real in some way, shape, or form, even if it's through my computer screen. But no, that's not the case. And then now, I want CPUs for goddesses to be real, even though... <laughs> I've just gone into them. This is a common problem that I'm having with you. Know, well, then again, is it? Call, call me weird if you want, but isn't it common to you know want fictional women to be real? Like even as a child, you wanted them to be real. Like as a child, I do too want them to be real. And I hope you guys are noticing the finger posing that I'm doing. If anyone knows the reference to that, um. But don't you just get- but as an- as an- as a child, when you have a crush on certain fictional women, but you, they're not real, but you want them to be real because you actually really like them, don't you get that really annoying feeling that you just want them to be real because you actually love them? And for me at least, it's been a common problem since I was like, what, maybe like seven? Or eight? I don't know, when I started having a brain? Probably eight, but I've always loved fictional women. Like, uh, I can come up with many, for example, like, you know, Princess Peach from Mario, of course. Uh, I think Rosalina at one point. Zero Suit Samus. Oh, I mean, if, as a Super Smash Bros. player as a kid, I definitely had crushes on Super Smash Bros. characters, you know. And, uh, oh my gosh, we can finally move on. Let's go. 
Oh my god. Wait, actually, real quick, let's go. Find something from the shop. Healing stuff, obviously we need that. Oh, we don't need that much. Okay, but like, you know, as a child, you've loved, you know, fictional women, right? Why don't you just, you. Don't you just want them to be real? Because just, for, okay, wait, now I remember where I was at. <laughs> for me, at least, it's always been a th common problem for me when I was, you know, um, Let's go. eight years old or nine years old, I don't remember. But, you know, it's still a thing for me. Because, you know, I really love fictional women because they, all fictional women will always, especially anime women, will always have one thing that in real life people don't have. That is... The fact that they look like this. And the fact that some of them are actually fine women and are actually respectable, nice, and loyal people, maybe like Neptune, instead of those hecking, stereotypical, very vulgar women out there who are also very dumb sometimes. And I know, yeah, men, we can be dumb, I I'll admit. But then again, humanity as a whole is dumb, and that's why I really love fictional characters. Because they have not fallen into, at least from my eyes, they have not fallen into the trap of being idiotic like us human beings. I'm starting to realize I'm sounding a lot like Ultron actually. You know how, you know, or you know, those computers. Actually no, isn't Ultron kind of the first to be like, oh my gosh, humans are so flawed, I just want to kill them all, you know? Isn't Ultron the first to have something like that, or at least the OG to have something like that? So... Actually, that does explain why Ultron is my favorite Marvel villain. Oh my goodness, I'm the more and the more that I rant on, the more and the more that I learn about myself. And it's probably not a good thing. It's probably not a good thing to realize that your favorite villain is Ultron, not because he's super cool and he's one of the most overpowered villains in Marvel history, but he has the same ideal as you do, and that is you don't like humanity. Holy cow. There might actually be something wrong with me. Okay, but finally, 44 minutes into the thing, we can actually start playing the game. Anyways, let's... Get a close-up shot of Neptune. Look at her. Look at her. Is she actually looking kind of cute? I'd rather play games, but oh well. Shush! I will not take your insignificance. I'll be Let's your do a battle. Opponent. My turn. <laughs> How's that? Was it cool? Yes, it was. Actually, now that I think about it, even stronger. She does ask a lot. Was it cool? Yay! I leveled up. Like way too much. So yeah, that's a definite, uh, we can definitely see something going on. Also, I'ma just, actually, no, wait. Actually, yes. Let's give Nep Gear a chance to be leader. Also, what, does she have anything to say for, uh, wait, we can run? Oh, <gasps> what? That's cool, we can run. Do you have anything to say? Perfect CPU, probably. I wanna hurry and be cool like Neptune. Cool. Then let's go for it. You're my opponent. I'm gonna freaking kill someone because they keep attacking net gear. My turn. At this point, it's probably a sin. All right, protect the net. Protect Don't the net gear. Protect the net gear. It is a sin at this point. Looks like we win this match. To attack the net gear. The Gearzy. I am honestly getting a little triggered that I'm calling her Gearzy now because I don't. I think did it. It's I leveled up. I don't need to see that back part again. All right. She looking kind of cute. Look at her. <gasps> Look at her. <laughs> Look at her. I won't get over it. I'm sorry. 
Uh, also, maybe we shouldn't do this much of a close-up because I can't even see what we're doing. So this is to run, which is cool because I had no idea we could even run. So at least good to know we can get to places faster at least. Wait. She sounds like Neptune when she does that. And then finally, freaking kill the cat from giving you a virus! I did it! Yeah, I'm having way too much fun at this point, and it's probably not a good thing. It's probably not a legal thing. Dead. This is way too Boom. uncool. Done. At least we got level I think up. I'm a little closer to Neptune now. Alright, here's what we gotta know. If we I leveled up. Oh yeah, all of them leveled up. That's cool. All you gotta know is that every time Neptune levels up, more than likely Neptune is gonna level up. Yeah! Yay! Not yet. I don't know why. Oh wait! SP Oh, I have never paid attention to the little blue bar up there. We need SP, so Neptune has enough. I don't know what SP does though, or why we need it. Is it like, um, what is it? We just, is it that we get it from getting hit? I'm a force of fury. Yeah. Leave this to me. What? I don't know. No, let's. Gear and I have something real special. I did not see that. I did not need to see again with the freaking panty shots. I don't need to see them. I don't want to see them. Sorry to slash and dash. It's all over. Oh, see, what is the little like hard stuff? I don't know what that is. Is it like a like a relation build through coordinating attacks? I found an item. I don't know. I don't know anything. Run, nephew. Run like the speed of sound. Oh, ooh, interesting. Nep Neptune gets uh the SCP, right? But not, you know, the others. And I think it's because she's in the front. Or is it because... Well, I'm still trying to figure out how now, getting an SCP works. Because I'm wondering yeah. if it's you gain way. it through either um, getting hit serious. or by just... Oh! It's by the turn. Okay. So when I go... Or when they... So when they get their turn, they gain the SCP. That makes sense. Okay. You're not half bad. That's a naughty girl. Okay, can you? What's okay, are, are we done? Girl. Okay, so I'm making some knowledgeable progress, so that's important. Damn it! Now let's play. No. Oh wait, she dead? Hey. No, we cannot. We can do it on one enemy. Here and I have something real special for you. I can reach from here. I'll cut my way to the future. Sorry to slash and dash. So we can only do it on one enemy. So that's a little depressing. But makes no, sense, I guess. Play. Wanna do it? Oh my gosh. Why do they get so many turns? Okay, buddy. I win. Okay, so unfortunately that was our very first battle with having our party members knocked out. Because I was being a little bit idiotic right there. Yes, it, it was. So that means every time... Oh, dang it. That means every time when she levels up, that means Nepgear won't level up. Because, you know, it's that one unfortunate battle where we actually lost. Level up. 
Yeah, now she leveled up. It's a whole battle afterwards, unfortunately. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually getting the same excitement from this game as I am from playing, uh, what is it? Uh... Dragon Ball Z Attack of the yeah. Saiyans. That if you guys remember that game, right? That game was really fun. Yeah. You're surrounded. And it was mostly because we could mostly because you could repetitively use the same move over and over and over and just watch it do a lot of damage. And it wasn't that hard to level up. The game isn't long too. It's just that leveling up is a bit of a tedious process sometimes, but when you get that level up, it is feels so good and the best part one of my favorite Yay, parts about dragon ball z attack of the sands yeah, was that you could have this item where it it increases the chances of getting an enemy encounter on one hand you're What's thinking this? why would you want that but on the other hand when you really think about it it's a really good option because there is also a save point that you can yeah, go to yeah. and every time you went to that save point it would auto refill your health you know the best part was you could literally spam that checkpoint over and over and over and get your auto-refilled health over and over and over again because you could get enemies to occur onto that point as well. So because of that, you were able to grind it in a, like, really quickly. Plus, not to mention, there are also certain areas that made bosses or you know other like enemies occur way more often so it was so the grinding process eventually became faster so it wasn't afterwards it wasn't you know as tedious as it is you know before I messed up. Kill. Kill. all types of stuff so then it becomes actually fun for once i'm a force of fury you but he's dead now. Later. He can't see me. That's a John Cena reference. You can't see me. Even she's culture. She knows John Cena. She's not just a gamer. Okay, I'm really starting to question where the English voice is going or where did they go? Because, you know, um, I'm getting a little exhausted with the fact that I have to read this instead of just listening to Nepgear's amazing voice, you know, like... Also, guys, if you made it to this part of the video, I already know there is a game that where Nepgear is the main protagonist. Just like how there's also a game where Blon is also the main protagonist. So, you know, I, I get it. Two of my favorite CPUs having their own game, but I can't get those, or at least I think I think I can't, because, um. They're either old or, um, well, I know one of them is old. I think it was the one where Nep Nepgear stars in it. I think that one's old. Like, 2011 old, I think, if I recall. Or if I'm just being dumb, because I swear, when I checked the day on it, it was... I'm gonna actually look that up. Oh, no. Uh, don't skip it. Release date of, uh, oh, wait. Actually, no. Never mind. I, I don't remember what it was called. Oh, she got another memory. She's even recovering from her amnesia. Just like Shadow the Hedgehog did. Kinda. Aw. That's cute. Okay, that's cute. Oh, yeah. Also, hilariously enough, my sister told me that pudding is awful. I mean, it could just be her taste buds. But she, of course, she, when she heard, you know, when I was editing my video, she heard about the whole, like, you know, pudding thing. She straight up told me, without hesitation, it's disgusting. And I find it funny, because it seems to be a common thing for gods or goddesses, especially from anime. Was she shooting a gun? Does Uzumi have a gun? Or is she, like, pushing everyone out of the way, like, get out of the way, I'm hungry, or something, I don't know. Because, I mean, I thought Big Nep was the only one that has a gun. But it seems like that this woman right here, who shows off a little too much skin, might actually have a gun herself. Oh, oh no, now, hold up. If they have guns, well, that's going to be a problem for me. Hmm. 
Oh, little arcade tricks. Remember, I mean, I'm pretty sure back in the arcade days, you know, you got those one or two people, they have like this super really cool secret. And you know, and it's what's causing them, like, you know, in Pac-Man, you're getting like 5,000 points, but they're getting like 20,000, 25,000, you don't even know how. Or maybe they're getting even more than that. And you're like, bro, how? And then you just come over to their house, or you come over to them, and you're just like, hey, hey, can you tell me a secret on how you get these many points and keep it a secret? And then he's like, oh, okay, but you have to, you know, do this or do that for me. And then you do that, or maybe you don't. And then when you actually do, they're like, okay, so this is how I do it, right? Blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then you're just like, oh, I can't wait to beat all my other friends that were able to beat me beforehand. Then you beat them all, and it's just like, mmm, yes. I remember back in the day, I wasn't amazing at Smash. Definitely not the best. Nowhere near. I was just the best of my family at Super Smash Bros. Especially Brawl. But everyone... And I mean, all my family members were always asking me, like, yo, how do you get so good at this? And I don't remember how I responded back, but all I gotta tell you is that I was the best in my family. And being the best in my family doesn't actually mean I was amazing. It actually just meant I was the best in my family. Okay, so what she's saying right here is that what, the enemy in front might have something that Nepgear... It seems like Nepgear is looking for something. And the robot might have something that Nepgear is looking for. So, if we can actually... Um... Maybe destroy this robot, then Netgear might get the thing that she needs in die. order to, uh, oh, it's a boss battle, actually. Okay. Yes, here we go. We can do it now, right? Yes. One, two, two, two go! Let's go! I almost destroyed him! Alright, that's good. That is good. Almost destroyed. Why does they all- I swear, there's something about them targeting Nepgear. Like, what do they have against Nepgear, huh? 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 Yeah, I'm, I'll beef up if I have to. Also, I know we can- Oh, that almost killed him. I know we can do the goddess forms, but I don't want to do that yet. Or at least I don't want to get to the point where we need to do that against normal enemies. I kind of want to do it against enemies, like, you know, much superior enemies. Even though that was a boss battle, but I want to get to a confident level where it's like... Yes, okay, you do. Stop showing me the back. But I want to get to a level to where um, we don't have to rely on getting to the goddess forms during, you know, regular battles or maybe even some of the boss battles. Because if we can, if we can, you know, do these battles without... So I don't know what the freak just happened, um, but actually, just real quick notice, it's so, and look at the time, 11.59 p.m., we be doing that, boys, we be doing that, but anyways, as I was saying, for whatever reason, I don't know why, but during my explanation of whatever the heck I was explaining, because I forgot what I was explaining now, but for whatever reason, during that, when the video cut off, the capture card randomly thought it disconnected. And I don't know why. That is literally the first time in what seems like literally the first time that it just randomly disconnected and it had, and it took like five minutes to reconnect back. And I'm honestly frustrated because that just happened, which means it could happen again. And for all I know, it could literally happen anytime I'm doing anything. So, that sucks, but thankfully, it only did that at a time where we were right here, at a dialogue that, you know, no one really cares about except for the people that actually are reading this, but I don't know why it happened. For whatever reason, it is baloney, and this is another reason why I need a new computer, or it's possible that my capture card's getting old, or the fact that the box that you guys saw in the first episode is actually damaging my capture card and I just don't know. But if that's the case, I'll get- I- I either get rid of the box or I get a new capture card. So here we go. She's gonna take something off of him. And, uh, hopefully- and I think maybe after this part, I would like to end the episode off after I try another VR session. And I'll do it with a different character, or I'll do it with Neptune again. 
depending on like if um you know oh they found a replacement are you cereal are you surreal i can't believe she just said that are you cereal well well for well what was it they said like number well, what does she say number one she there was a piece missing or sort of something broken she had to replace her so i don't know and number two the one i can remember they had no power on it that they're missing right now then they can actually get home but they still have the other three giants. How much of this do we have? How how many times do I have to go back to this just for Hasty to tell me that there's a whole nother content that I need to remember? How much, huh? Oh my gosh. Can you use this? I'm just getting an item called a plan. A plan lists the items that can be created. Oh my gosh, you've got a key in the remember. I can combine different types. Oh my god, this thing is so complicated. You can do the list by doing, going to inventory in the main menu and select the plan category. The major items can be created. My plan is listed correct. I'm gonna actually skip the whole topic by accident. All right, let's see. First, let's check it out. Mind the episode here, and then oh wait, inventory first items you can possess in the separate category. Also, I find that now I'm going to the item menu. The shared storage is mostly a piece of storage for equipped items. The upper blue area is <coughs> shared storage, and in the upper right is displayed the current amount of items storage as well as the maximum hold. Personal storage is mainly a piece of resort for equipped repository for consumable items and collectibles in the storage. There's a maximum uh, ownable amount per item. So items are consolidated into one figure. Oh, uh, wait, weapon. I don't know what this is. Oh! Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Oh. I'm just not realizing. Does this mean I can actually. Oh, but God. Oh my God. Actually, look at that. God. That's. Wow. That's too much for my eyes. But man, does she look pretty. And her. Well, I don't even know what, what's going on there, but like, wow. Oh wait, party. Yes, I remember now. Okay. Status. Oh no, wait. Equipment. Change it to this. Which I think might be stronger, right? Ta-da! Aw, that's cute. No, new bracelet. No, not. Dog ears. Um. No? Question mark? I don't think I like that. Okay. How is it? It's cute! That's how I think of it. Thanks for asking. No. Wait, this actually affects our physical st stats like this? What? So wait, 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 what about... Oh, wait. No, wait. Does it hit me? Yes, yes it does. You're hot with it, okay. How is it? Definite better understanding. Although I'm still not comfortable with the fact that we are not getting any English voice acting yet. Uh, I actually first need to check this, since this seems yes, to be the only option the right here. Was successful. Here we go! More voice acting again! That's great! You girls can go home to your own world! Yeah, but it's kind of hard to celebrate knowing there's probably piles of work to deal with back home. Hmm. I can already hear Isti's eternal, boring, luxury voice in my head. Funny. Would it happen to sound like this? That is so spot on, Uzume. Wow! That sounds just like... Wait, Isti? Why are we on a call with her? I'm sorry, Neptune. Since I just finished repairs, I thought to call Eastwar right away. I answered this call, holding the highest hopes for you both to return quickly. But hearing these complaints from Neptune is just too much. I'm not gonna lie, this is probably the second time I've heard her voice. I actually know the third, technically. Because the first was at the, you know, skipped intro for whatever reason. Um, the second was, you know, during the dialogue when Neptune was introducing us to, you know, the characters. Third is this part right here. So, if you so, so desire, much of a gap space. Let's hear me return to tend to business over here. And Neptune, you may very well stay in that world for eternity. Ah, uh, come though. on, Isti. I was only joking. You already know that's not how I feel. Yeah, I mean you have all it the other. It's just things. one of those Nep jokes all my fans online are into these days. Okay. Stop with the four four breaks. It's gonna hurt my head one day. A nep joke? Do you mean um um? It doesn't matter. You must return at once, so I may lecture you. Wow. 
Now you that the device has now. been repaired, we must solve our energy dilemma. You must return now so that I can lecture you. Literally yeah, what she said. I was thinking, maybe we can use this. Isn't that a share crystal? Uzume, that's a sweet gesture, but we couldn't possibly dream of using such a precious item. That's right. Without those, how are you going to transform, huh? We can't hey. take them. Remember, share crystals are kind of just scattered around this world apparently just it's on the fine. floor i was able to defeat the giant thanks to you girls and now all i got left is to crush that purple hag who likes to pop up everywhere and yeah, although it's not a huge amount i'm able to receive shares from monsters now so i don't even need these anymore true if i do need more someday i can always just go search for some Again, it's okay yeah. right umio yes absolutely i agree with uzume Thank okay, you, so Uzume. we got the power. We're never uh, gonna forget out. you. Yeah. In fact, take a selfie. <laughs> Seriously, I won't ever forget you, Actually, Maxi. Wait. Oh. I actually do have notifications. Netgear, are you ready? Enter the coordinates I specified into the end gear. I will take care of the controls for the transfer afterwards. Um, Eastwar, could you wait for us to return a little bit longer? What? What are you saying? Please, do not tell me Neptune's propensity for slacking off has influenced you. Our only salvation is your earnestness, Netgear. So if you take on Neptune's traits, I do not know if I could ever face our past CPUs again. Wait up. Am I being dissed right now? Yes. No, I just want to finish helping Uzume before I return home. Uzume, I'm here for you until the end. So once we defeat R4 and ensure everyone's safety here, why don't you come back with us to our world? I think sure my I discussed that. My sister will that. be there, and there are so many games and food to try out. You can even yeah, check out CPs. all my gadgets. Hmm. She's already talked about the Neptune Ranch, so like I, I wish I could, it. but I can't. That's what this is about. You sisters have been so kind. You care so much about someone like me, a complete stranger. Thank you, Gearzy. But then, does this mean you'll come? No. I'm really happy for the sentiment, but I'm the, sorry. The, you can hear the I music. Just can't go with you there. You can hear the music. And the moment it turned on, you're just like, oh, yep. Mm -hmm. But why? It's far too lonely to stay in a world like this completely by yourself. Gearzy, this is just how it is, and you have no idea what'll happen if you stay. You gotta get home while you still can. True. I don't... Oh, say the proposal later, something's going on, because the background's shaking. <laughs> what the hell's this noise? These sounds, they appear to be coming from outside. It's probably another giant, right? Or is it her? The weird lich, the weird witch lady. <laughs> Monsters, yes. destroy this building. They ruined my plans, and I will ruin their escape. Oh, 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 Damn, oh. I knew it was you. Uh oh. Dang it. Uh oh. Uzume and Nep Jr. were having a touching plot developing moment, and you had to go break it up. That's supposed to be my job, dummy. I was getting some of my best jokes ready to make it so embarrassing for them. Wow, should I? I think you're a little bit degenerate about that. Do you think the nickname Seriousness Breaker just came by chance? No, I earned this name and I'm not losing it to you, Arbor. Who the hell is Arbor? And I don't even need your ridiculous second name. Then, what's your objective? <gasps> Are you trying to steal my spot as the protagonist? No, she's trying to destroy the freaking building, you idiot. <laughs> well, okay. Hmm. Yeah. Mega kind of. Dimension Destructor R4. Well, now that you mention it, taking your spotlight sounds like a brilliant idea. What? What? Is <laughs> hey, did you hear that, Nep Jr.? Mega Dimension Destructor R4.
Also, why do you have the face? Please put away that face. That's disgusting. I don't want to see that face again. You shouldn't laugh, Neptune. Not when she's so serious. But, I mean, using the name Destructor? It's so freaking lame. I believe her intentions may have been Destroyer, but who's to say, really? Uh, shut up! Always finding a way to make a mockery of me. You will not be forgiven, brats. You're so cute when you're all red and embarrassed, Arfie. You should leave her be, big sis. The last thing you want to do is cross the line with a crazy person. Actually, she's right. She's clearly not thinking straight to be dressing like that at her age. Even more so than youngsters these days. We have no idea what she'll do if she snaps. We must treat her delicately. Even though we gotta, you know, beat her up. Ah! Yeah! How dare you fools continue to gossip about my impeccable fashion sense! Oh! My original plan was only to cast you all into the depths of despair. But that's changed. I will end you here and now. Really? <laughs> cast into the depths of despair. The depths Please. of despair. Bear, she says. What is this? A freshman poetry class? Please, I, I, I know it's, it's dumb literature that she's using, but please put away that face. I've never seen anyone outside a game use that phrase. What a riot! Nepsi's instigations are also at fault, and it seems her resistance to being appropriately serious is a problem as well. Oh my gosh! Please, I won't allow don't any care. further insults, you scum! Go, my monsters! Crush those twerps and take down the entire building! Alright, we can't let her take down the entire building. So, we gotta protect oh, the building! So, how many monsters are this? Is this like a wave thing, or, uh, I don't know. Well, who cares, right? Oh, yeah! We have a uh, new, uh, stuff. Oh! Holy moly, that's okay, good. Okay. That's Ooh. good. That's good. Whoa, okay, turn. stop doing that. You're in the way. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Here we go. You're not oh. half bad. Sure. What should I do? Uh ooh. Here I go. Oh. I did it. Mm, that is good. Now it's way stronger. Yeah. Okay, that's good. That is good. I can do the same thing for Uzume. Why is she so close to being knocked out? Okay, so it should be Neptune's. Okay, so Neptune's turn. You can see later. And it should I'll be Uzume's turn. All. Yes, it is. Okay. You're and it should be Neptune's turn as well. Now. Well, you know, yeah. he's dead, so I guess it doesn't matter for now. Looks like we win this match. Alright. We did good. <sighs> there are too many oh, that was of it? Them. Oh, no, wait. What's wrong? I expected more from you CPUs. There are just too many. We're overwhelmed. Let's take cover in that building for now. That she's destroying. You're really telling me to show my back to this pop-up jackass? Way past uncool. Censor that again. Uzume, calm yourself. Her objective is to destroy the transfer terminal and prevent Nepsi and Gearsy from leaving this world. We don't have to face her directly, or even fight her fairly. As long as our friends here escape, we can consider this battle won. Ooh, I mean, mm, fight her fairly or not? We don't have to fight her fairly. I mean, I don't want to be that guy, but there's a lot of situations where that is true. There's never such thing as we win by fighting fairly, unless it's Dragon Ball Z. All right, I get it now. If that's the case, then let's hurry it up and get him out of here. Are they really gonna leave? Nepsi, Are we gonna Gearsy, end this let's third? Go back to the terminal. Are we really gonna what? end this? We're not even done here. Yeah, Uzume, there's still lots of months. Change of plan. I'll get you up to speed in a little bit. Just get inside ASAP. Are we really gonna end the third episode with they escape? They'll probably be a while before they can clear a path to the entrance here. Jeez, that hag's personality is super rotten. Bringing along a horde of monsters to attack us right at the last second. Dumb. 
What should we do, though? There are so many! Hey, why are you sweating it, Gearsy? It's seriously nothing to worry about. I'm gonna transfer you guys now. Hurry and get inside the terminal. Yeah, like, right now, as we speak. Just a dang minute! No way! We can't just leave you with this horde right outside! She can go goddess it's form. It's totally okay. cool. Compared to that giant, these wimps don't mean a thing. Just make it quick. Before I actually get so pissed from you guys having so many conversations, that must have ended been the door up not escaping. We have no time. Get in the terminal, you two. Gearsy, give Eastwar the transfer signal. My preparations are complete. I am aware of your situation via the end gear as well. Okay, you two are in. Good. I didn't think our farewell would be this hectic, but hey, you stay safe when you get back, all right? Only if you promise not to push yourself, Uzume. I promise, as soon as you two leave, I'm gonna make a run for it. I found you, little brats. Oh crap, she's already here. See you, Nepsi and Gearsy! Transfer initiated. I'm too late. You will pay for this with your life. Wow, are we really about to escape? Uzume, watch out! What? Oh, no, huh? no. Nepgear! Nepgear! Can I take a moment and talk about what just happened? Nebuki was like, Uzume, my love for you is dying. I must protect. And then she jumps to save Uzume, leaving Neptune behind. Which means, and from the looks of, you know, Uzume left the party, Nebuki left the party, that more than likely means we're out of the zero dimension, but Nepgear is still in the zero dimension. This might actually mean we're out of the zero dimension, but we're over here. There, Nepgear is still over there. Holy wowzers! Uh-oh, they just realized that something's not right. <laughs> you know, since uh, it's not related to the main show, Nep Gear, Neptune should be here, right? Well, no. Okay. Also, I'm curious. Why do we have these, exactly? Returns to her world, but that was only the beginning. Okay, so she returns to the world. We will be playing, so I am, so I am, thank God, it is true that I would be finally playing, not just in the Zero Dimension, because admittedly I was getting a little sick and tired of it, but thank goodness we're finally playing in, you know, the Zero, not in the Zero Dimension anymore, but out of it. So, oh, I'm just going to work. Okay, so, does this mean... That will play as the other CPUs? We'll actually get in the zero dimension and fight the other giants? If that's the case, that would be pretty cool, you know? Oh, I knew it. I knew it. Alright, alright. Hopefully. I'm gonna try the secret trick again and hopefully it should work. Where I, uh... Let's see. I might want to turn up the volume a little bit. Sorry if you guys are gonna hear the echoing, but I really want to get immersed into the experience myself as well. So I'll probably get up close and personal just so I can hear it better. And I can also, um, you know, babarush and stuff like that. Anyways, let's get started. Audio, audio is good. Now hopefully this can flipping work now. 
I don't know why having to properly record a VR session is so difficult. Yes. I think so, right? Hey there! Hi! I'm here to visit again. And the audio's fricked. So, while I was chasing after rare bugs, I stumbled onto a ton of retro games. And so, I wanted to show them to you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Already super curious, aren't you? Mm-hmm. There's a ton I want to show you, but if I had to choose one, it's this. You guys this have to deal with this game crap is just audio for now. amazing! I'll probably like layer it over. In order to over. solve a puzzle, you have to wait without doing anything for an hour, or you have to sing using the mic built in the controller. There's no way to beat it by playing normally. The developer got over 400 complaint so, calls. Uh, that's and cute. on top of that, according to the producer, it was put together in an hour's talk at a cafe. Wow. Okay. Okay. Real quick, let me just decrease this audio. By enough to where I can just layer it over with actual good audio. So you guys want to have to deal with, you know, what I'm hearing. All the ridiculous game design decisions were apparently thought of right there. Oopsies. Sorry, sorry. I got a little overexcited. Well then, seeing is believing, so let's try playing it right now. Yeah, I, I'm looking at the leg. Yeah, she's definitely got a gun. Definitely. Hmm? This is... Huh. I've, I've never seen, seen a console, console like this. Do you think it's possible to play this retro game on this console? Would you mind if I try? Ah, uh, well, that depends. I mean, sure thing, I guess. Right. It's worth a try. Here we go. Uh, hmm... I mean, it's probably not gonna happen, but you know, don't wanna be rude. It's no good. I don't see any place to stick the cartridge in. <sighs> That's too bad. It's the worst feeling in the universe when you wanna play a game, but you can't. You're so dramatic. Hmm. You know, what if the hardware is where you found the software? It just might work. What? Nice, Krosty. If, if the game, game won't work, work we, we just, just have to find hardware that will play it. I'm not sure if I'll find it soon, but if I do, let's play it together. Sure Whoops. thing. <laughs> Sorry for staying so long. I'll be leaving now. It's always so much fun with you. I always end up forgetting the time. I'll come back soon. See you. Okay, my lady. Okay. Looks like she jumped the ladder. I am still so triggered that on my end, the audio was bad because, again, it refuses to work with the VR for some reason, but... Oh, that's all we have to put it with for now. Oh, so that works. Good audio right here. I've arrived in the hyper dimension. Woohoo! Okay, 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 okay. I'm hoping that this all saves because we'll end it off right here. I'm sorry for the god awful audio that was just in that VR, but it seems like I still cannot get it to work. I can record it, but there will still be technical problems with it, as much as I really hate saying it. I'll probably, one way or another, figure out how to get it to work, or I'll, you know, I'll, I'll figure something out. Something at least. I'm glad to know that we're finally out of the zero dimension. We're actually in another dimension where we can do something that isn't be only those three characters. I mean, the way the game was designed, it had to have been more, but I didn't know when that was, and I'm glad it's now, because I was a little sick of being stuck in that dimension. I'm not going to lie, but that does let me know there is much more room opened up in terms of actually playing the game. So with that in mind, hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, Give it a like, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. Again, I'll do everything I can to figure out how to get the VR to work and we'll actually record it. Or maybe I'll even have to test it with some of the other VR games like, um, you know, this one for example. Maybe I could get that to work first and then maybe I can somehow experiment with that a little bit and see how that would work with, you know, this game that occasionally uses VR, which is... What? 
Okay, I don't know what that was about, but sure thing. I'll see you guys whatever we do next. Take care. God bless you guys. Or unless if you guys have... What the... Okay, that's where I have dried skin. Unless you guys have suggestions on what I can do, or you guys actually do have solutions on what I could do, please give them to me. But especially from the looks of this, even if I do record the VR, it gets blurry. Which means there is no way in winning this, unfortunately. So, or unless I'll have to, you know, do those VR sessions without actually putting on the VR, just so I can actually get that experience you guys should get. Or get the quality that I should get. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Take care. God bless you guys. I'm mad. I'm honestly mad. Did everything I could to work it out. Somehow the first time it worked, but the second time refuses to work. Like, you know, you know that feeling? And then it, all of a sudden the audio pops back to normal.